there? Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know what it means, but I'm, uh, you know, I, I like to make visual movies. Um, you know, the fountain, we worked really hard on the images, and uh, definitely we tried to do something very different. Like Max in your first long yeah, yeah. picture, yeah, yeah. I says there are patterns everywhere. <laughs> I wonder, are there any patterns in your film? Oh yeah, there's a lot of patterns in uh, the fountain. I think when you make a movie, you can make a, in a cohesive universe, its own world. And I think that um, the fountain has all these repeating motifs and ideas and patterns and rhythms throughout it. I think Pi and Requiem were very related because um, Things I started off doing in Pi, I kind of uh, worked, I, I had more money and so when I did Requiem, so I was able to pursue them. Um, so a lot of the visual language I was doing in Pi and Requiem uh, is very connected. But when we started doing The Fountain, we wanted to do something completely different, something completely new. I imagine there's relationships between The Fountain and, and the other movies because it's the same filmmakers that made it, but uh, I think it's unique. I'm very much a tapestry maker in the sense that I take all these different ideas from different places that I think are interesting and cool and I kind of weave them together into its own new thing. How do you get inspired to, <laughs> to tell these, I mean... Well, I want, you know, I mean, that's why we go to the movies is to feel, you know? People want to, you want to feel, I mean, some people now go to movies just to forget about things, but it's also nice to connect with, um, other emotions and be taken into a new world. After only three feature films, Darren Aronofsky has emerged as one of the most interesting filmmakers of our time. His story's telling is driven by passion. His unexpected narrative solutions break all cinematic conventions. So we honor you tonight with Stockholm Visionary Award. And here's the horse. <laughs> oh God, it's heavy. It's, um, it's actually uh, heavier than Henry, so I, I could use it so I could lift my baby eventually. Um, thank you. Uh, well, that's very kind words. I like the personal note also. Um, uh, you know, I, I, hey, uh, you know, things like this give me the courage to uh, keep trying to do really wacky, freaked out shit. So. <laughs> Every time I think about selling out, I will stare at the brass horse and get my courage again. So thank you very much.